2011, this was another historical year, and at this point of time, I was working very close with Andreas Wellet. Uh, I, I have done his management, and um, Chris Wellington just added added into this amazing uh, year. And uh, you know, we had a we had a pretty perfect weather conditions. And I remember Andreas crossing the finish line in 7:41. I mean, this is historical. It's, it's, if you put it into perspective, uh, his speed in swim in the bike and also the marathon he ended up uh, and uh, top it with with Chris Wellington. It's just wow. It started with the perfect swim, so I started to push very hard just to get a gap to the other athletes. And when I jumped on my bike, I just started to push right from the beginning. And it's always a risk. But if you want to set the world record, if you want to win this race, you, you have to risk something. After 20 kilometers to go, uh, I struggled a lot. And I was uh, thinking to myself all the time, oh, please, Andy, don't give it away. Don't give it away. Not after seven hours. Come on, the last hour, please. And just focus and keep pushing, pushing, pushing seven hours and 41 minutes, so I still can't believe it. I was confident in my training. The run for me was incredibly challenging. I, I pushed myself to the absolute limit to run the fastest marathon time that I've, I've ever run and actually uh, do a negative split, which was really incredibly pleasing both for me and, and my coach. And when I rounded the corner, that very, very special last corner at Challenge Roth and, and into the stadium that they've created, I knew then that I was on course for the, for the world record. And, and when I crossed that finish line and, and realized that I had broken the world record by about a minute, it was so overwhelming. It was something that I didn't necessarily know that I could do and to have achieved that result at that race in the presence of all my family and friends and the thousands and thousands of people that, that came out to watch was one of the best days of my life.